as you well know, people that go to a film, they want to be scared yeah. or to laugh or to cry. That's about it. And if you can provide uh, that other level, then it can be a masterpiece. Like Citizen Kane, which is an incredible story, but it's about the biblical idea of what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world but lose his own soul. So this idea overrides this incredibly well-told story. Not many films have an underlying, as you say, uh, subtext. Though I revere Citizen Kane, I think a lot of Wells films are rubbish, especially the last one, which I don't believe should have been released. Oh, the new one. Uh, no. The Other Side of the Wind. I, I mean, I think it should never have been released. And, and these are supposedly his friends. He had no idea what he was doing. I don't he feel says like... So. Uh, he says that in yeah, the interview. In the, I don't think he not. wanted well, to this make part, this film. This, this is not an Orson Welles film. Right. You know, like Kafka's The Trial that he directed is more Welles than Kafka. Yeah. It, it's sort of anti-Kafka. And it's very much of a Welles film. Right. Um, so is The Stranger. Yep. Is a, so is, of Arcane. course, is... Uh, uh, Touch of, of evil, of evil yeah. Mr. Arcane. Is, a, is, a, is definitely a Wells film. Have you yeah. seen The Other Side of the Wind? Yeah. It's you. It's not a Wells film, but, but it's not shot. No, but it's still full. By of, Wells, like a well. Wells film. Oh, but why would but you parody not, Antonioni? Right, exactly. And also Who it's not because shit? all... Of, <laughs> Toward <laughs> the end of his life, Wells couldn't hold Antonioni's jockstrap. 